All right, just want to do a quick video on uh, Terra Luna, and um, you know it's been it's been the news lately, to say the least. It's been the news. Um, of course, Terra Luna pretty much crashed a couple months ago, took down the whole crypto market, and since that crash, um, news has been coming out about the founder Do Kwon, and um, turns out he's been under investigation by the SEC now, or at least they're investigating the UST stable stable coin. Um, it looks like. Do Kwan was making $80 million uh, withdrawals before the Terra Luna actually crashed. So apparently this guy, Do Kwan, who's basically the creator of Terra Luna and UST, he knew it was all going to crash. He knew it was a Ponzi scheme, Ponzi scheme. So he was just slowly, every month or two, just withdrawing millions and millions of dollars, $80 million withdrawals. Um, that's usually how these Ponzi schemes end. If you go back to BitConnect, which was basically the, the thing, the Ponzi scheme of 2017, you know, Terra Luna was the Ponzi scheme and UST was the Ponzi scheme of 2020 up to 2022, this bull market. Um, BitConnect was the Ponzi scheme of 2017. It seems like every bull run, there's a Ponzi scheme. It's kind of weird. And they all end the same way. Um, people try to take their money out, then the whole thing crashes. So basically, this Do Kwan knew it was going to happen, and um, he knew this whole UST stablecoin wasn't going to wasn't strong and wasn't going to be able to hold its peg. So he basically probably took out billions of dollars. Now, my my point of this video is I've made videos like this before. You know, you you can look at my previous video. I called the UST crash about three months ago, a month before it crashed. I said, it's a big scam, get out of it. It's backed by nothing. If you put your money in there, you're basically an idiot. Um, I traded a little bit of Terra Luna on the way down, but I never actually held any Terra Luna. Um, I'm just trying to make the point that crypto YouTube is the worst possible thing for, <laughs> for newbies getting into, into uh, cryptocurrency, or really it's just the worst thing for crypto. Like, I love YouTube and I love crypto YouTube. I watch it every day when I'm working. I watch it, you know, in my car. I watch it at home. I like it, but it's just the worst thing for newbies. If you've been in the market for a couple of years, you realize all these guys are charlatans and you just take it as a grain of salt. You take it as entertainment. But these big YouTubers were all pumping Terra Luna. And it makes you wonder, you know, without these big YouTubers pumping Terra Luna, would Terra Luna have become as big as it was? Well, the answer to that is obviously no. Just like BitConnect. BitConnect became big because of YouTube. All the YouTubers talking about it, the YouTubers with millions of subscribers, and the word spreads, and before you know it, you got yourself a giant Ponzi scheme with billions and millions of dollars invested. And when it crashes, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people lose all their money, hundreds of people commit suicide, thousands of people go broke, and it's all because of these guys. You know, BitBoy Crypto Hero, here's a video from last year. Terra Luna, the pump cannot be stopped, and there's plenty of other videos. I'm surprised he hasn't erased them. Uh, the biggest Terra Luna pumper, Crypto Banter. Here, I made a video about this a couple of days ago. Solana, Lunar, Avalanche, which altcoin will hit 250 first? Every single one of these altcoins is pretty much dead. Avalanche is a dead project. It's down to $19. Solana... Um, uh, crashes every couple of days. It's one of the worst performing altcoins in the bear market. And Luna is dead. It's down to zero. And you, I can find all these other YouTubers that have big, big subscribers too following it. Now, I'm a YouTuber with hardly any subscribers. I've only been doing this for a few months. And I'm not even all that smart. I, you know, I'm a high school educated guy. But how was I able to look at UST and say this is a big scam and warn people not to invest in it? And these guys who are supposedly smart, this crypto banter guy is supposedly like a financial advisor, how can't they see it's a scam? Everybody can see it's a scam, but they can't. So my point is, there's obviously something fishy going on gone behind, these, behind the scenes, and I'm not going to make any allegations. I know nothing. But it's kind of weird that all these big YouTubers are, are pumping this Terra Luna and UST, and they all turn out to be big Ponzi schemes. Especially this crypto banter. He made, like, he was... Every day he would tell people to buy Terra Luna. Every single day. It was almost like he worked for them or like his, his mom owned the company. It was really weird he was that into a, a shitty project like Terra Luna. All, the minute I heard about Terra Luna, I looked it up. I looked up Doquan. I said, that guy's a scam artist. I want nothing to do with it. I looked at UST. I said, that's a scam. That's an algor algorithm stablecoin. It will crash. It's backed by nothing. I made a video that it was going to crash, and it did. 
And I even knew this, and I know very, very little about blockchain, about crypto. I'm just like a regular guy. But I looked at it for two seconds and I saw, and it's not just me. A lot of my friends who I told about UST and Terra Luna said it's crap. So how are these big YouTubers, they're so adamant about pushing Terra Luna you know, over the last couple of years. Without them, Terra Luna would not have gotten the traction. It probably would have hit a high of like $10. UST would have hardly gone anywhere. I mean, these YouTubers were pumping UST left and right, talking about Anchor Protocol, all the 20% the interest, how great it was. And even when UST ran out of money a few months ago, Crypto Banter did a show talking about, don't worry, they're putting more money into Anchor. Hello, it ran out of money, so they had to put more money in. Isn't that like a warning sign right there that there's going to be a problem? So anyway, I just want to make a point, folks, if you're new into crypto, all these big YouTubers, they're not looking out for your best interest. If they're talking about Bybit, don't listen to anything they say. They get money, of course, when you lose money on Bybit. They, look, they get money when you use leverage. They're not looking out for your best interest. If they're talking about these new shiny object coins that you've never heard of, Solana, Luna, Avalanche. Yeah, and you, people made a lot of money on these coins because they were pumped so hard on crypto banter. But they're all pump and dumps. If you're looking to be in crypto for the next 5, 10 years and you want to buy a project, hold it. Like Cardano, for example. You could have gotten Cardano a couple years ago at $0.02. Cents, went up to $3. It'll be probably $10, $15 in a couple years. These guys don't talk much about Cardano. And there's a reason. They are only shilling the scam sleazy projects, the new shiny object. So, And that's how they got all subscribers because it's all flash. But it, everybody gets wrecked. So my point is, Terra Luna turned out to be a scam. UST turned out to be a big scam, and it's only it only became as big as it did because of all these guys, you know, all these guys just talking about it. Now, now they don't want to have much to do with it. They don't want to talk about it anymore. But they're part of the problem. So my point is, use some common sense when you watch these uh, crypto videos, especially if they're the big YouTubers that are most of these guys are bought and paid for. If they're talking about a project nonstop, there's a reason behind it, okay? I talk about Cardano a lot, but I like Cardano. I've been in it for a long time. Cardano could go to zero. I don't know. I mean, look, if I lose all my money in Cardano, I'll be sad, but I'll be okay. But I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to do well. But these projects were obviously, obvious pump and dumps for the last couple of years. It was obvious once that bull market ended, they were all going to drop. I mean, it was just common sense to anybody who's been in crypto a couple of years. And the problem is... Newbies get in, they watch these guys, they watch Fatty Doo Doo over here, crackhead, they watch the guy, the other guy who was fired from CNBC for giving bad advice, and they watch all these charlatans and they just end up getting wrecked. So, you know, if something seems too good to be true, it's probably, um, it probably is. This Do Kwan obviously is a big scammer, obviously he was probably paying people off to promote his project. There's clearly a, there's clearly more to this that meets the eye, and it's all going to come out over the next couple of years. And this guy will probably end up in prison, is my opinion. I don't know, but I think he probably will. But will it ever get to the point where we figure out why were all these YouTubers talking about Terra Luna? Why did George from Cryptos R Us care about UST and put all that money into it and tell people to put money into it. Why was Crypto Banter talking about Luna every day, all day? Why was BitBoy Crypto making videos about it? It just makes you wonder. It makes you wonder, is there a bigger scheme here when you're talking about something like UST, which was an obvious scam? It was obviously going to unravel at some point. So for the newbies in crypto, just be careful. If it looks too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. Once the bear market hits, all these scam projects go away. And that's basically where we are right now. Will Solana be the next one to crash to zero? Will AVAX? Who knows? Who knows what's going to be next? But you want to be in projects right now that have stood through multiple bear markets. They're not run by scammers. They're not all over YouTube. YouTube are shilling them left and right. In fact, folks, I'll be honest. The, the projects that are shilled the most by YouTubers perform the worst. Back in 2017, half the YouTubers were XRP YouTubers. How did that work out? XRP turned out to be the biggest load of crap ever. It like It's the one coin you could have held that made you no money over the bull run. I mean, it's crazy. So, and the list goes on. Solana, 
big shill coin. Did well at the height of the bull run, but right now it's not doing too well. Solana will never come back to where it was last time. Never, folks. Ever. It's just not going to. Um, AVAX. It was in the hundreds. It's down to $19. That was a big pumper coin. All these coins that get pumped and shilled, eventually they, they go up way too much. People lose interest. They go down. People realize there's not much behind them, and then they go away. And that's kind of... Uh, Kind of what happens, and of course, Terra Luna turned out to be a big Ponzi. And uh, now, I, you know, UST was the Ponzi, but Terra Luna was just as much of a Ponzi because the way it was connected to UST. So if they were, they're two peas in the pod, they go together, and they were both created by the same scammer, Do Kwan. So be careful out there, folks. We're in a bear market. Make sure you're getting in good projects right now. For me, could be wrong. I'm putting most of my um, my investment in the Cardano and Theta. There's a few other Metaverse coins as well, but I don't even talk about Metaverse coins right now because everything's so so shitty out there. I don't want people to get into these Metaverse coins and you know they could go down another 90%. So I'm just not even comfortable even talking about them right now. But um, if you watch my previous videos, you can see the Metaverse coins I've been talking about and you know putting a couple thousand dollars into them is fine. But don't if you got a twenty thousand dollar profile of a portfolio, yeah, two thousand dollars in the very very riskies, those metaverse coins, and the rest for me, Theta and Cardano. What you know, whatever your portfolio is, whether it's five thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars, for me that's what I'm doing. And of course, have have your Bitcoin as well. A lot of people will tell you to hold Ethereum. I don't think Ethereum is going to do as well in the next bull run. I think people are sick of Ethereum. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. And if you see right now, it's dumping hard. Ethereum will probably be under $1,000 in a month, you know, so it just doesn't have the hype around it anymore. But anyway, my point of this video is why were these guys all shilling Terra Luna when it was an obvious scam? I don't know. I'm not going to make any allegations, but it does make you go, hmm, 